Welcome to Tab.Ready, my name's Michael and in this tutorial I'm not only going to be showing you how to paint your Orc Boys, I'm also going to be showing you step by step how you can paint them in the colours of your chosen clan. I'll list the brushes and paints I use in the description below. If you enjoy my content make sure to like the video and let me know in the comments which I'll be sure to reply to. It shows YouTube you enjoy it and it goes a long way to growing the channel which I would really appreciate. You can follow me on Instagram where I also put tutorials and you can keep up to date with my own hobby and if you want to share with me what you're working on you can show me on the r slash tabletop ready subreddit. Now that I have these orc boys built let me show you how to paint them. Orcs are my absolute favourite. There's so much character and so many different ways you can paint them. In fact the more random and colourful an orc army is the better. So let me show you in this video how you can go about painting all the different orc clans. Let's get started. For this tutorial I've chosen to undercoat all my orcs with Wraithbone spray, but you should choose whatever colour works best for you. I just like to make my orcs as bright as possible and Wraithbone spray is my favourite to use to do this. Whenever I'm painting I always like to thin my paints first and I find an equal amount of water does the trick. Make sure to keep your brush moving and try not to go over any areas you've already painted. It's also better to paint in multiple thin layers to get a nice solid colour without losing any of that detail. So let each layer dry and then repeat the process until you have a nice solid colour to work with. Now go around your miniatures painting all the trousers, shirts if they have them, straps and other details you may see with the colours you chose. Each clan is very distinct in its choice of colours and that goes for the materials as well as the armour on the Orc Boys. I will choose colours which the armour can stand out against. After you've done painting the materials we can now move on to painting all the metallics on our Orc Boys. Again you want to decide what colours you want to use for your specific orc clan. Go around the miniature again painting any weapons, buckles and armour you want to be metal. Try and mix up the colours across the miniature to create some interest. With the metals all painted it's time to move on to giving the orc boys a wash. I'm now going to start creating some definition on the miniatures using a wash. I start by mixing an equal amount of Lamy Medium with some Agrax Earthshade. This is going to weaken the strength of the wash so it doesn't do all the colours we've already painted. And this is the reason I wanted to get a lot of the colours down first so I can wash all these areas at the same time. You don't want to use a lot, just enough so it covers the miniature comfortably. And if you find it pulling up too much in areas, just remove the excess wash with a brush and then leave the wash to fully dry before moving on to the next step. Now would be a good time to do some highlighting as I'm not so worried about being messy with what is left to paint on the miniatures. When it comes to highlighting it's important to have as much control over your brush and paint as possible. I like to remove some of my paint on some paper towel first which is going to prevent thick blobby lines due to too much paint on the brush. When it comes to choosing what colour you're going to use for your highlights, it doesn't matter so much as long as it's a couple of shades lighter than the colour you're highlighting. For example for this goth orc boy, I used Dawnstone to first highlight the straps and boots and again for the orc top as well. I then used Carrick Stone for the trousers and wraps and finished the highlights with Wild Rider Red on the loincloth. You want to take your time painting these highlights, picking out any raised areas and edges which are going to bring out that detail. Highlighting can be very time consuming but it's always worth the effort and helps your miniatures to really stand out. If you want to highlight the metals just use some Stormhouse Silver. We're now ready to move on to paint the orc skin. How you're going to paint the orc skin is completely up to you and it's a very personal choice on how you want it to look. I already have many ways of painting orc skin on my channel so make sure to go check out my orc playlist and see what you prefer. I do want to show you another way of painting orc skin though in this tutorial. For any tongue showing start with Cadian Flesh Tone and then wash these details with Drooky Violet. For the teeth and other bone decorations start with some more gas bone and then apply some skeleton hole contrast. When that's dry 
layer up with some Ushabti bone before finishing these details with a highlight of Screaming Skull. To paint the skin, start by painting a base colour of Uruk Flesh. Remembering multiple thin layers is better, building up to a solid colour. Now thin down some Beltang Green with an equal amount of Lamy Medium and use this wash all over the skin areas you've just painted. Use an Auric Flesh again, paint the raised areas and muscles leaving the darker green in the shallower areas. Finish the skin with a highlight using Creed Khaki. The final details to paint are going to be the nails using Incubi Darkness and the Mephiston Red for the eyes. The only thing to work on now is painting your old boys in the clan colours of your choice. The Goth's armour is mainly black with some red and white in places. For the black armour, start with some Abaddon Black, then a thick highlight using Dark Reaper. Finish with an edge highlight of Femrisine Grey. For any red areas, use Mephiston Red, shade with Norn Oil, an edge highlight using Fire Dragon Bright. Any white details can be painted using Corax White first, then thin down some Femrisine Grey, an edge highlight with White Scar. Bad Moons have bright yellow armour with black details sometimes added. For the yellow you'll need to start with some Corax White. This will help when painting the flash gets yellow. Then wash the yellow with some thin down Cassandora Yellow before finishing with an edge highlight of Dawn Yellow. Any black details are going to start with the Bad and Black with a chunky highlight using Eshin Grey and then an edge highlight using Dawn Stone to finish. The Evil Sons are famous for their red armour with some yellow as well in places. Starting with any yellow first, use Avalon Sunset. Recess shade using Reichland Flesh shade and Edge Highlight using Flash Kits Yellow. To paint the red, start with some Evil Sons Scarlet. Recess shade with some Agrax Earth shade and finish with an Edge Highlight using Fire Dragon Bright. The Death Skull's armour is mainly blue, but you can add some white as well if you want to. The blue armour is going to start with some McCrag blue, then shaded using Norn Oil, and highlighted finally with some Kalidor Sky. If you want to paint some places in white, start with some Corax white, then thin down some Carrick Stone to create definition, before finishing up with White Scar for the highlights. Snake bites don't really have any official colours, but I've picked colours used on the Rocker Truck Squig Buggy. I start with some yellow using Avalon Sunset, I then shade this with Reichlin Flesh Shade, before finishing with Ushabti Bone for the highlights. I then chose a light blue but starting with Corax White, which makes painting rust grey easier. Shade with Reichlin Flesh Shade again, and finish up with Femrisian Grey for the highlight. Snake bites don't really look after their equipment either, so you can use some Nylock Oxide and then Scrag Brown for rust. Blood axes are known for their tactics and sneaking, so use a lot of camo patterns and maybe some other random colours as well. If you want to paint a camo design, start with any colour of your choice. Then using a light colour, paint some blobby lines. And then do the same thing, but this time using a darker colour. Then you want to highlight any edges if you've done this on any armour. I also chose to paint some armour red using Evil Sun Scarlet. I then shaded this using Norn Oil, an edge highlighted using Fire Dragon Bright. I've now shown you everything you need to know to get started painting your Orc boys in the clan colours you've always wanted to paint. Make sure to go check out all the other Orky tutorials on my channel and there's plenty on their way so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments. Doing this really helps my videos get out to more people and grow the channel. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next video.